Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. If you have a General Motors vehicle guys, such as Chevy, Buick, GMC or Cadillac guys, and your airbag light is on, we'll explain how you can turn your airbag light off guys without any special expensive tools guys. We're going to use that tool right now guys to scan the system, but we'll demonstrate how you can actually turn the airbag light off without any special tools. And that should work on most guys General Motors vehicles, especially the newer ones. We've tested it on vehicles past 2011 and it works so almost every time guys quick introduction we'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop why guys because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video hopefully you will find the information helpful now if you guys need to buy any tools any parts or anything to fix your vehicle guys check out the link in the description of the video below you can see where we order our parts from uh, we get everything for there pretty good price fast shipping uh, now right here guys okay that uh, Chevy has the airbag light on and we're going to guys scan the system and after that we're going to explain what needs to be done to reset it okay without actually needing okay needing a scanner and I will explain why now however guys if you're on the market for amazing scanner check out the link in the description of the video below I definitely want to share some information about that scanner video is not sponsored okay uh, we purchased the scanner ourselves but that thing is the best tool that I I want for that price and it's simply amazing I want to start guys the car first now okay car is started and check out now airbag light is on guys okay it just stays on all the time so we'll go ahead and turn the car off guys we'll turn it back on now i'm going to go ahead and scan the system guys i want to show you something very quick okay so let me just plug it in okay and connect it because it was off and while it's turning on i want to explain a few things to you guys about um, about how the airbag system functions and uh, all that stuff now after starting the car, it even says with ignition on, it says service airbag. Okay, check it out. This is in the messages right here, service airbag. Now, when we notice that this call happened, guys, okay, this call actually happened when a person moved the seat, okay, backwards and they stuffed something underneath it. And all of a sudden, my airbag light came on and I almost freaked out. So let me explain what is happening now. Right here, guys okay that scanner works on any car not just general motor vehicles guys okay yeah i want to show you what makes and models it supports even works on porsche we tested it we use it on bmw and mercedes all the time and we select general motors we select after that guys and they constantly release updates by the time we are going to select manual selection next 2015 passenger car chevy cruise and right here guys 1.8 engine perfect so now let me explain about that thing something else uh, if you guys recently worked on your vehicle okay let's say you replace the window regulator you put it together and you notice your airbag light is on most likely the problem is somewhere there and what it could be you have guys a side impact sensor that sometimes you disconnect to replace the window regulator or to remove door panels in some cases and uh, if you forgot to reconnect it guys your airbag light will be on let's say you worked on replacing radiator fan or upper radiator support and you had to guys uh, disconnect front crash impact sensors and you forgot to plug them that's where the problem is so if you if you like um, uh, previously right before we saw the light guys worked on something check out there and we're going to explain why now guys we're going to go to inflatable restraint systems live data okay let me go back actually live data uh, you can see all the different things but i want to show you something else now trouble codes guys right here it says it's a current code that it's happening right now guys at the time we scanned and the code is u0170 lost communication with passenger presence module what is a passenger presence module guys if somebody sits in that seat it detects if the person okay is going to be heavy enough to actually activate the airbag light uh, airbag for the passenger or if it's not heavy enough it's going to turn it off for safety let's say a kid is sitting in the seat that way guys uh, it's not going to kill the person if it's not heavy enough or cause uh, cause uh, harm guys so now that's the code that we have under live data you can even see what is happening here now and 
you can see the different configurations here so let me show you something quick passenger deployment loop deployment loop pretensioner weren't so let me see where exactly this one is enabled so under here guys okay you can go ahead and find your okay you can find your loop and you can guys see if actually that module is working or not and all that is going to tell you that so i'm going to explain a little bit more about that you don't need to know so much but that gives us an idea of the code where the problem is now if you don't have a scanner guys and you recently worked on something or you let's say notice after a certain action that the airbag light is on that's what's causing the problem and we'll show you guys by fixing the airbag okay uh, the airbag problem what's going to happen quick uh, uh, detail now guys every time you work on airbags disconnect your car battery at least one hour okay before the repair or removing and replacing uh, sensors uh, if you're not qualified and certified do not do the repair guys no because that thing can kill you and can kill your passenger so you have to be extremely guys extremely careful i'll go ahead turn the uh, disconnect the battery off and we'll continue guys so i'm going now under the passenger seat okay right here that's where the problem is and i did some uh, okay some digging around and i found guys that this is the passenger presence control module right here this is the sensor and that wire guys got loose okay it has that safety pin that wasn't pushed in and that wire guys okay being loose probably through our code okay when i said we recently we uh, moved the seat too much and we stuffed things underneath it so that probably knocked the wire loose it wasn't connected good guys and you have to always check your wiring harness under the seats but this is number one reason guys for airbag light to be on mostly okay probably eight out of ten times when you have problems in the shop this is guys the reason why we'll go ahead reconnect the battery and we'll continue so battery has been reconnected and i want to show you something now guys without even resetting anything without doing anything with the computer check out what's going to happen airbag light guys will turn off on its own so once you guys find the problem okay and what caused your airbag light to be on you can guys just fix that problem guys and it will turn it uh, turn off on its own now if that doesn't fix the problem guys disconnect your car battery and leave it for one night guys for 12 hours and that should reset the airbag light okay if there was something wrong with it so i'm going to go ahead turn it off uh, turn it on now and i want to show you something quick guys right here if we click trouble codes check out now the code will still be in the memory but it's not requesting the airbag light this is the mu status is the airbag light to be on and the code is not current but now if i want i can delete it and clear it all the way so no fault codes detected perfect so if you guys have a chevy gm vehicle guys uh, buick gmc cadillac and you want to reset your airbag light that's uh, all you need to know guys it's a self-healing system and it's going to fix on its own once you guys fix the problem it's going to turn the light off on its own so thank you for watching guys i mean that's what i meant self-healing that it will turn the light off on its own after you fix the problem so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time